Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make transparent glass material in Blender 4.2 EV. Let's get started. We have a cup model on the scene. I will share the download link in the video description. Press Z key to switch to render preview mode. Click the render properties tab and switch to the EV render engine. Set the viewport sample value to 64 to have more quality render in the viewport. Enable the ray tracing option. Ray tracing is used in EV Next's new global illumination system to increase the accuracy of surface indirect lighting. Let's add an environment texture for lighting. Click the World Properties tab and open any HDRI image. Select the cup and switch the Timeline Editor to the Shader Editor. Click the New button to add material. Rename the material as Glass. Select the principled shader and delete it. Add a glass shader. Plug the shader into the material surface. Go to the Material Properties tab, scroll down to the Surface panel, and enable the Ray Trace transmission. This prevents the surface from contributing to the lighting of surfaces not using this setting. Alright, let's make the glass transparent. Add a transparent shader. Add a mix shader. Blend glass and transparent shaders. If you set the factor value to zero, the material becomes completely transparent. If you set the factor value to one, the material becomes completely glass. We want the middle of the cup to be more transparent and the edges of the cup to be more reflective. To do that, add a Fresnel node. Plug the Factor node into the Factor node. The Fresnel node computes how much light is reflected off a layer where the rest will be refracted through the layer. As you can see, the middle of the cup looks transparent and the edges of the cup look reflective. We can change the IOR value to determine the thickness of the reflective edges. Set the IOR value to 1.1. I also want to change the transparency level. Add a color ramp between the Fresnel and Mix Shader nodes. Select the black color stop and make it gray. That's it. It looks more realistic now. Add a plane. As you know in Blender 4.1 and earlier versions, when selecting an HDRI image for lighting in the EV render engine, the shadows of objects in the scene did not appear. With the release of Blender 4.2, environment textures will now be able to cast shadows. Let's see how it works. Go to the World Properties tab, open up the Settings panel, and enable the Shadow option. To have a smoother shadow, you can increase the angle value. To fix the jitter effect in the shadow, go to the Render Properties tab and enable the Jittered Shadows option. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.